Hey, what's up? How y'all doing tonight? What's up? Woo! Good to be back again. Uh, yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Um, I was thinking um, I'm pretty tall. I have a big wingspan. Uh, not as tall as Michael Phelps, though. Uh, his wingspan is so big that uh, I bet if, like, a plane he was on ran into any difficulty, they could just put him on the side of the plane. <laughs> now he could just take over. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3 finally. Anybody uh, like those movies? Yeah? Yeah, yeah they're pretty good, pretty fun. Uh, I love the character Rocket. Um, I mean, because uh, first of all, raccoons are cool. But I also just like any little character. Because you know, I loved Oddjob and Goldeneye. He's really small. He had like a really small hitbox, so really OP. Uh, Yoda has some of that going too. Like, he's... Yeah. You know, he's a pretty good Jedi, but, like, he doesn't even have to be that good because he's just a tiny target. Um, so that helps a lot. Uh, speaking of Star Wars, what about Harrison Ford being asked uh, the famous question of uh, who shot first between him and Greedo in that bar? Uh, for the non-nerds, they're, they're in a bar, and um, the original edition, you have, like, one of them shooting first, then the other one it goes the other way. And his answer is just so good. He is. Like, he's asked, like, you know, did you shoot first? Did Greedo shoot first? He goes, I don't care. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I, I just don't give a shit. You're, you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> you're, you're a loser if you give a shit. <laughs> he is such a cool dude. Uh, he is such a cool dude, yeah. Um... Him and uh, Carrie Fisher were um, buddies off set. Uh, that, that has to be like one of the coolest like uh, romances, friendships of all time. Um, yeah, the 80s, man. Cool time to be alive. Uh, the new Star Wars, there's some funny stuff too. Um, they, they just finished the, uh, the trilogy and Rey, you know, has her kiss or whatever with Adam Driver before he dies. And, People were like, oh, you know, she ends up with uh, like Adam Driver or whatever. And John Boyega, the guy that plays Phil, just puts on Twitter, like, the best response ever. He just goes, it's not about who kisses first, it's about who lays pipe. I love that he just, like, infers. Disney characters just, it's not like Star Trek where they have to, like, follow the script. Disney, can, Disney actors can just say whatever they want off the set, you know? So he's just like, yeah, you know, off screen, I hooked up with Ray. It's like, no, you didn't. But he can just say whatever he wants. It's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I was thinking about like high school the other day. You know, insult comedy is very big in high school. That might be you know how I ended up here. Um, comebacks are hard because uh, the delivery window is super limited. Um, one comeback I uh, I had that I remembered was there's this kid like his last name was like Gerthoff or something lame like that. And I it rhymed with jerk off, so I was very proud of just on the spot and you know, right away. Um, I had a teacher that was like something Houston, some Chad, Ch Charlie, I don't know. I was like Chode Houston. That was pretty good too. Uh, <laughs> good times. I was like always twelve, even when I grew up. Um, <laughs> uh, like uh, Peter Pan, except my age. Um, it's just my sense of humor that remains childish. Um, anyway, um, okay, we're good. Thought I had some technical difficulties. Phew. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, so, you guys like, you guys like Kenny Rogers? Speaking of high school, I was thinking about, um, if you wrote, you know, The Gambler, and it was just about how to be cool in high school. <laughs> you got to know when to punch down on nerds. Know when to fat shit. <laughs> <laughs> when to bully others, you gotta know when to say nothing. Now it's time to be cool in high school. I'm Kenny Rogers, and I'm still on the train. <laughs> that's that's country music, right? That's the gist of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have an internship uh, before I go back to college. I've got uh, like one week left there. They made me shave my beard at the beginning of the summer, and it's still messing with me. I think it kind of, it took my mojo when I shaved it. Uh, it's kind of like Samson. You know, it was the Samson Delilah thing. They took my power with the beard. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I kind of feel like those NRA people, you know, <laughs> don't take my beard away. 
Um, you know, I, I get it. You know, it doesn't feel good to be told what you can and can't do. Uh, that makes sense. That's probably how, uh, you know, they don't have a lot in common, but that's probably how women's rights people must feel also. You know? <laughs> You're my beard, my choice, right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, uh, the other thing that happened at work that was pretty funny was um, there was a person at work who was like, you ever, uh, you like Harry Potter? And I was like, yeah, kind of, I guess. Um, and they were like, have you taken the Harry Potter personality quiz? I'm like, no. Like, I've taken it four times. I'm like, first of all, who takes that once, let alone four separate times? I'm like, all right, what did you get? They're like, Hufflepuff? Like, every time? They're like, yep, I always get Hufflepuff. And she was, like, smiling about it. Like, have you read Harry Potter? <laughs> They're not, like, a cool house. They're right by the kitchen. Like, not in a good way. You don't have to go up any stairs. None of their characters are main characters. Like, I just wouldn't brag about something like that. Anyway. <laughs> Um, let's see, I'm going back to college soon for my final year. We got any, uh, people in school? Woo! Yeah. Uh, oh look. Uh, I had a dream that, um, yeah, this is a, kind of a weird dream. I just thought that I, uh, bought a motorcycle and fled the state. <laughs> I was, like, pretty happy in the dream. It was, like, a momentary bliss to just, just running, not looking back. Just, you know not facing any of my problems, not, you know, getting any better or changing. It was nice. Uh, that'd be cool, right? Just to lamb it. Be a cool guy on the run. Um, you never see them stop to get gas in the movie, though. I guess the car must understand the urgency of the situation. It's like uh, an extension of plot armor or something. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, what's the deal with, uh, you know, when you're flying, first class is so weird, right? Like, they're like, uh, they act like everyone else on the flight isn't people. They're like, don't get your core on me. <laughs> and it's like, you know, they look at you, they're like, I just got out. I'm not, I'm never looking back. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's, it's pretty cold-blooded. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, um... Speaking of airplanes, as a child, uh, my best bit probably was as a one-year-old, we were in first class because there was no other seats, so they had to bump us up. And so I um, left my seat just because I was restless, ADD baby, and uh, I just got out of my seat, scrambled under the seat, and just scared the family in the next row. <laughs> and they were just screaming like, ah! And they were just terrified, like, who is this kid? Where did this attack child come from? That was one of my better bits as a kid. The other one, there's a picture of me just uh, as a three-year-old just stomping someone else's great sandcastle. That just tells you a lot about what I like, just getting angry and punching down, <laughs> even as a kid. Um, that's all I got for tonight. Thanks, everybody. Good job, man. Thank you.